Results are in. Greensboro Speaking city leaders wanted to know if more money should be invested in public transit. And most people said yes, they would be willing to invest. In fact, they'd like to see more buses run more often. Fox A's Sarah Winkleman joins us live at the Greensboro Transit Agency office. So, Sarah, how long will it be until we see some of these changes? Well, Neil, it could be more than a year before we see some pretty massive changes to the overall transit system here in Greensboro. But one of the things that came out of that survey we will see very soon, starting on March 4th, the city will have their very first cross transit route coming online. You'll be able to go from east to west Greensboro and back every 15 minutes. We have been placing a lot of emphasis on uh, on fast tracking this because this has been a long time coming. It's time public transit takes a front seat and people in Greensboro agree. Out of about 1800 survey responses, more than half said timing of the bus routes is more important than adding new routes. The ridership concept, which was uh, you know, the one that came out on top, basically emphasizes uh, more frequent service, not having to wait, wait as long for your bus to travel around the city. But we still recognize that there's areas of Greensboro that will need to be served that aren't served now. So we're going to be trying to integrate that in. The more money they get, the more changes they can make. A half cent sales tax increase costs about $9 a month per household. That's what the city is proposing to get the money they need. About 82% of people said they support the tax increase. Over 50% of the respondents uh, had a household income of over $50,000 a year. So it's not just uh, low income people who were saying, you know, we want to spend more on transit. Actually, it was people from higher income uh, families and, and households who recognized the importance of public transportation. The money would support more than just Greensboro. Funds would support Guilford County and the Piedmont Authority for Regional Transit. That will help with the connections as well, so maximizing our reach throughout the community. Not everybody likes change, but the city hopes most people can get on board with its ridership plan. We just ask them to look at the big picture and recognize, okay, I may have to walk another block or two to get to my bus route, but I'll be able to take that bus quicker to, you know, my job or my medical appointment or wherever it is that I'm going. And right now, the Greensboro Transit Agency is working inside to kind of update those maps based on what they found out in the survey. And then sometime this spring, they'll take those, that proposal back to the public for some more feedback. And then they'll take that final proposal to City Council this summer. Live in Greensboro, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News.